Welcome back to the Rum Brothers channel. We are reviewing a requested spirit today. Thomas, tell us what we're looking at. We are reviewing Maker's Mark 46 today. This is another one requested by Mr. Belmore. Thank you for your request. We read our comments, so if you have anything to request, please put it below. The name is interesting, right? Maker's 46? What the heck does that mean? Is it from 1946? It is not. Are uh, there 46 people who died to make it? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> the interesting thing is, the guy who wrote the thing on the back, his father is the guy who started Maker's Mark in the 50s. Did Bill Mark. Samuels. Oh, I thought Mark wrote it. This is Bill Samuels Jr. Maker's Mark, everybody knows it. Iconic wax neck of the bottle. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. What makes this different from regular Maker's Mark is that after it's fully matured, like regular Maker's Mark is, what they do is they take 10 seared French oak staves and they put it into the barrel and then they let it age a little bit further. And so what that does is it gives the whiskey a more aged, more round flavor, makes it more bold. And the 46 comes from stave profile 46. So I guess they were experimenting and then they finally got to the one they liked mm. and that was number 46. Yeah, when it comes to just straight up staves in the vat, if you will. So, you know, aging in the barrel is all about surface area. So you always hear about, oh, we can age the whiskey in chips or in staves and get this much aging uh, maturity in this amount of time. So a stave, two weeks in a vat for a stave is about a month, I think. You get a advanced, or so they say, you get an advanced kind of aging process with a stave. So does that mean they're bit literally like throwing wood into the vat? It yes. might be a little more sophisticated than that, but you know, the I could also imagine basically. them just being like, <laughs> <laughs> So the idea is you get more wood surface area for the liquid to come in contact mm, with yeah. and impart flavor. Mm, okay. Yes. To be straight bourbon, to be Kentucky straight bourbon, you only need to be aged at least two years. So this is probably just aged maybe three, maybe not even three. But let's see what we think. Yeah, let's take a sniff. Let's take a sniff. It smells good. I could smell it when it was on the table. That's so bourbon. It's pretty aromatic. Yeah, you can smell right away. That's your bourbon. Yeah. I don't know how many nuances there are in the nose of a bourbon, but... yeah. Definitely got that corn smell. Yeah, I don't get any hints of smoke. So, yeah. you know. Let's let's try it out. Cheers. That's a little... Wow. In a typical bourbon, you get kind of that almost sweet kind of corn. This is this is much, much drier. Yes. That's a really nice drink. This is 94 proof. 47% alcohol. Yeah, you definitely get the, the oak spices off of, off of the barrel. It's good. It's like big... The flavor pops. Is it just me? Do, do I taste some of the smokiness in in the flavor, even though we couldn't smell it? Yeah, I think it's yeah. a little bit there after, like, on the back end. Yeah, the, the aroma is very deceptive with this one, I think. Because you get that sweet bourbon aroma, and then when you taste it, it's like, ooh, we got something else in my Maybe it's just because I just tasted it, but I can smell the smoky now. Do you smell the smoky? It's really good. So is this something that would be just for drinking on its own or would you like mix this depends on the price yeah what is what that was the price what is the price point here <laughs> <laughs> too <I'm> much <laughs> it's funny because i i forgot oh <laughs> let's do that again how much is the price <laughs> <laughs> so i got this for $32. Is that typical? I d it was on sale. So I think this roughly is around 35 35 Yeah. For a bourbon, I mean, that's, you know, good. Yeah. yeah I mean, good, it yeah. is. Maker's Mark, everybody says, oh, like, all right, you got Maker's Mark. That's like, you know, that's like the lowest level bourbon. You know, everybody's like, oh, I want craft. I want this. I want that. But this is good. Oh, Jim Beam's the lowest. But oh, yeah. that's true. Um, Jim Beam. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> I if you're like oh I want to get Maker's Mark you should just spend like the extra ten bucks and get this because it's good the bottle looks cooler I think if you're looking for sipping bourbon yeah you can mix with this this would make this would make a fine whiskey sour yeah like we like, didn't say old fashioned are you proud of us yeah <laughs> so like the um like Diplomatico the rum Diplomatico that we reviewed it said that it could be used in sophisticated cocktails or use or 
sipped neatly. So mm-hmm. I think this is the same boat. Like if you want to be extravagant, have something for your whiskey sour or for your old fashioned. Or maybe even a boulevardier. Yes, or oh, a Manhattan. A if you yeah. want to go fancy on the Manhattan. Or if, you want to, or if you want to go old school and just do like a whiskey and water like they do in the old movies, like this would be a good one. My personal preference, when I have a higher proof whiskey, I do put more water in it just so it's easier to drink. But not, not enough to like kill the flavor, but enough... It opens it up. Yeah. Would we tell people to buy it? What do you think? I mean, I don't know. I'm comparing it in my mind to something like Bullet. And or like the Woodford Reserve. Yeah. We reserved. I, the Woodford Reserve. I honestly think I like... Woodford Reserve more than this. I, I would, would say agree. so. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just, just <laughs> and the video just in. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. So real talk. I it, mean, it's good, but I mean, are there better things in the yeah. in the in price, price range? range? Yeah. Because yes. Woodford yes. Reserve is in the price range. Yeah. So I agree. If you were up against these two, I would say get the Woodford. So it sounds like we all enjoyed it. We think maybe there are better options in the price range, but it is still good. <laughs> We like it. We give it approval. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Make sure you let us know in the comments if there are any other things you would like us to taste and review. Make sure you hit the like button. And next week, we're going to be coming at you with another episode. So join us, won't you? Join us.